let's make it a pizza pie that was probably the worst italian accent ever i apologize sorry for that worst italian accent ever hey there fellow underdog entrepreneurs in today's video i want to talk about one of the one of the annoying things i've been dealing with in my productivity pizza at the heart of my system you know by now if you don't know click up is at the heart of my system but being a project management tool the main ingredient is has always been tasks but not all the data that i want to collect not all the data i want to store in clickup needs to be a task until now there's been there really hasn't been a clean way around this until now introducing clickup custom task types now i've been reworking retweaking my clickup since my initial setup dis disaster check that video out here um it's been a work in progress i must say for sure but uh i'm happy now that finally with the 3.0 release uh that ta custom task types are going to help me solve that mess uh i'm still a work in progress but hopefully there's going to be some tips and tricks that you can swipe to help you master your productivity pizza. So let's get clicky with it. Right here is my ClickUp. So the first thing that we need to do is determine whether or not we have 3.0. Um, so if you're not sure whether you're on 3.0 or not, come up here into your profile icon and then come down here and it should tell you which version you're on. If you click manage version, it should tell you so you can switch back to 2.0 if you don't like it uh, but one of the things that i've been waiting anxiously for are task types so let's talk a little bit about task types and what they mean how to use them all that good fun stuff so that's the first prerequisite you need 3.0 uh, there's a couple ways to access the new custom task types so if you click on your profile icon again up here in the top right hand corner and then you go down to settings you can find it here so if you come down here to task types click on that there are task types so i'm going to go ahead and back click back there's another way to get to it I'm just going to show you a couple things a couple ways of getting so if you click at the little drop down from anywhere that inside of any task uh, or a list that you're on you can also come down here to task types it's going to take you to the same place so don't go crazy like I did, I when I initially got this, I thought about all of the things that I could possibly do with this. And the last thing I wanted to do was ruin my productivity pizza with all of the chaos that I started in the first place. Uh, that's not what we want. So that's my tip number one to you is think about your setup. Think about what you do inside your business and think more of it at a, a high level of where you're at now one of the things that i'm doing with task types uh i'm making a little bit of a departure here on task types i've been studying uh building a second brain system with tiago forte and i'm going to put a link up here to that as well the system that he's designed is called para p-a-r-a that's projects areas resources and archive and now that everything doesn't need to be a task I'm actually revamping my system around that methodology. So he's wrote a book on the para method as well. So I definitely, uh, maybe I'll put a link down in the description for, for that. So you can check it out, but definitely check out Tiago's YouTube channel. Uh, Ali Abdal is the one that got me on to, um, Tiago Forte. So let's go back to click up and get clicky with it a little bit more. One of the tasks, first couple task types that I created being the process and systems junkie that i am i think in terms of how do i automate it, things and how do i template everything that i do so big surprise the first two things custom task types that i made were template and automation the next one that i created was video because that's the core of what i do is around video i teach the next one that i've created down here at the bottom too is projects so now I can have a dedicated task type called projects since nearly everything that I do inside my business, if it takes more than one step or maybe a couple steps, it's a project to me because I, I need to get organized with that. 
And one of the things that you'll notice here in the video too, uh, you'll, you'll notice I've got contact company and membership. So let me show you one of the other things that I've been working on this week inside of my ClickUp is a CRM light. I'm calling it CRM light because I already have a full blown CRM. Uh, it's high, go high level. If you're a tech tribe member, you have access to Growably. So this is kind of the same thing. So I've been working on a, a light CRM because once somebody signs up for something, somebody joins a certain membership that I have, then I want to be able to do the actual work inside my project management tool, which is ClickUp. So if I go in here to my spaces, I can show you what that folder looks like. I've called it CRM demo. And you'll see in here, I have contacts. There's a contacts list, a company's list, and a memberships list. So let me go into contacts. And again, I'm calling this CRM light uh, because I'm going to be doing a future video on how to connect your CRM tool with high level so that I can synchronize this data back and forth so that when somebody purchases something, purchases coaching, a membership, anything, it will dump that work into high level along with their contact information. So inside of contacts, I have their name. I have a custom field called email phone, LinkedIn, and their job title. So this is where I'm going to be building a CRM light. Again, synchronizing that back and forth with my CRM tool, which is go high level. If you want a free trial of that to check it out, I put a link in the description as well. But if you notice up here, I still have, it's still called task. And since this is just going to be for contacts, I don't want to call it a task. Again, I'm just trying to get out of that, that mentality. So if you'd like, you know, I'm going to be doing a whole breakdown on this CRM inside of my ClickUp Masterclass. So if you want a full tutorial on the ClickUp Masterclass, I put a link up here and I also put one down in the description. So I'm going to be breaking down this in more depth inside of my ClickUp Masterclass. But I'm just going to show you since I created a custom task type, I want this to say add contact. So here's how you do that. Come over here into spaces. I'm going to click that, open up this folder. And then down here under my contacts, I can hit the little three dots, which is list settings. And then you'll notice here the default task type. So if I drop that open right now, it's on task. So I'm going to come down here and select contact and then boom, just like magic add contact now appears at the top. So now I can add contact and add my contacts as needed. So that is contact. So what I'm going to do is come over here and do the exact same thing in companies. So I'm going to click that into list settings, come into actually default task type, and this is company. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing for my memberships. So my memberships, this could be the products or services that you sell. Everything that I do is tends to be upon a membership. So I'm going to change that default task type to membership. So now if I go inside companies or actually, yeah, let's see here. I think I signed the wrong one here. So default task type under companies is company. Oh, I've just thrown a little glitch. So let's just do a quick refresh here of ClickUp. went a little too fast, I guess, on this video. So now inside companies, let's go back in here and see if we can reset to that one. Default task type. Yep, there we go. Now it's a company. So now I can add a company. So I can do the exact same thing with my membership. So you can have a database, if you will, or a list with all of the products and services that you offer. Here's just some of the ones that I offer. Uh, so again, I come back in here it memberships default task type is membership so that that is how i'm doing custom task types and that is a sneak peek of what i'm currently working on again just a work in progress now that that is available in the meantime if you if you want to check out my other click up youtube videos check out this playlist here but if this value if you've gotten value from this video and you can help a brother out. I'd love it if you be sure to like and subscribe while you're here. And I'll see you in the next video. And let's get clicky with it.